But overall, Pat, when you get more snow, it does increase your odds there of that white Christmas after all. And that's the big weather question. Which areas are going to see a white Christmas? A mm -hmm. lot of viewers at home want to know if that's going to be a possibility. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this forecast. This is a look at our white Christmas probability map for the continental US. And you can see the colors that we have there on the map, indications of which areas have the higher chance of maybe seeing a white Christmas. And again, the brighter blue coloring that we're seeing in the northern part of the US, those are areas Areas that have a 75% chance or greater possibility of dealing with a white Christmas. That's an inch of snow or greater on the ground Christmas Day. So it looks like that's where the higher chances are going to be. And then as we move further south into the US, notice that those chances are much lower. We're down to below a 10% chance and lower than that throughout the Lone Star State and of course for the Gulf Coast. But that is typical. That's where the warmer air usually is setting up. But the cold air should be building into southern Canada and it looks like it is going to be spreading even further south as we move into Christmas weekend. Take a look at all this cold air by next Saturday. So not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, all that cold air will be setting up over a large portion of the US. If there's any precipitation that tries to develop, there should be enough cold air to potentially bring a white Christmas. Now we do have some snow on the ground as of right now. You can see in the higher elevations in the Northwest and then throughout the upper Midwest and the Northeast, the Great Lakes region dealing with those uh, snow packed grounds as of right now, and it looks like there is that high potential for those areas that have the snow at the moment to potentially keeping that snow for Christmas morning, but we'll continue to monitor this situation. We'll look at that forecast very closely, and Nick, as we get closer to that Christmas Day forecast, we'll let you know those areas that are very likely to see some snow, maybe waking up for a white Christmas on Christmas morning.